Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here with a video for My Favorite Things. For today's video, I'm going to be recreating this card that design team member Barbara created using new products from the February 2016 release. To start off, I'm going to be choosing a piece of pattern paper from the new County Fair Plaid 6x6 paper pad. You can see here we have a ton of great colors included in this paper pad, all featuring this great plaid design. And I went ahead and took a piece of pink pattern paper from this pad and cut it down to 5 by 3 and 3 quarters in size. And then I'm going to start distressing this pattern paper. So what I'm doing first is using some gesso and just going ahead and painting this onto this pattern paper piece. I'm not doing it too thick. I want to still kind of see that pattern paper look through, but I do definitely want to have some white on that um, pattern paper piece. So I went ahead and applied that pretty liberally, but kept it kind of thin. And then I went ahead and let that dry. And now that it's dry, I'm going to add a little bit more detail to that gesso area by adding some stamped type to the area using craft dye ink. And what I did is I just kind of added the craft ink to the background stamp in a random, I didn't like completely cover the stamp, I just added it kind of in the center, just so that I had some stamp detail in the center area of the pattern paper, but didn't completely cover it. And now I'm going ahead and using the Distress Pattern Stamp Set to add some paint splatters to that background area with the same craft dye ink. And the reason that I'm using the craft dye ink is because we want this to look distressed when we're finished. And as I'm adding this embossing paste with the um, brick stencil here, I'm adding it directly over the area where we've added some of that craft dye ink. And as the embossing paste dries, the wet paste is going to absorb some of that dye ink and it's actually gonna show through the finished dried brick area there. So you're actually gonna see that craft distressing, the paint and stuff kind of showing through the brick. So it's just a really cool way to add some more distressing to the look of your design. Now once the embossing paste is dry, I'm going to go ahead and die cut this new rectangle peekaboo window dynamics from the bottom right hand area of this pattern paper piece. And that's why I kind of left that brick detail at the top left area, just because I knew that there'd be an opening there and I wanted to be able to see a lot of that brick detail. So you can see here this die is so fun, it leaves that double stitched line detail around the edges of where it die cuts. So I really love this new die. So now I'm going to go ahead and distress this even further. I'm using the Distress um, stamp set once again, and I'm using black ink this time and going ahead and using a couple of the different paint splatter stamps to add some stamp detail around this window area. And I kind of kept it so that the paint splatters were going from the top left corner down towards the bottom right corner. Um, and I made sure to kind of concentrate quite a few splatters around the frame to kind of just frame it in and make it look cohesive on the whole design. And then to finish off this little pattern piece, I'm going to take the same craft ink that I used for the stamping on the um, background, and I'm going to use an ink blending tool to go ahead and just add some of that ink to the edges to distress it and make it look a little bit worn. And then I'm going to stamp my sentiment. So to do that, I just positioned the pattern paper piece onto my card base and just kind of held it in place while I stamped my sentiment. And then I added foam adhesive to the entire background um, of this pattern paper piece. And I completely covered it in foam adhesive, mainly because with all of the wet um, gesso and the embossing paste and the ink that I've added, it really warped that piece, which is great because that's what we wanted. We want it to look really distressed, but I really wanted to make sure it adhered down really well, so I completely covered the background with the foam adhesive. And now that that's adhered on, I'm gonna go ahead and add the flower detail. So I already have these leaves and the flowers die cut and stamped. They are from the Wild Greenery Dynamics, all the leaves, and then the flowers are from the Desert Bouquet stamp set, which now has coordinating dies. And I just went ahead and adhered those with glue dots around that frame piece and concentrated the design on the top left corner there so that it framed the sentiment that we've stamped on the inside. And then once I have that done, that's going to complete this card design. So you can see I added some great distress detail by doing the brick pattern with embossing paste, the stamping with the distress patterns, the gesso underneath with the text stamping on top, and then the detail around the edges. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.